Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, August 13th. Uh, we're just going to see what comes up, but you know, I started I started this reading a minute ago <laughs> before I turned the camera on. So, the first thing I saw was uh, the King of Swords. So, the King of Swords is very decisive, knows what he wants, goes for it, you know, really really goes for it the decision is made once the decision is made the decision is made okay this guy has done his investigation there could be an investigation maybe he's he's doing an investigation right now um either way it's like this man he he's come up with something and he doesn't care if it's practical he's going to do it it's he's, he's got this idea he's got this thought and he's going to move forward with it the next thing I saw was the world card, a new beginning, which is a major new beginning based on a lesson that has been learned. I think we have somebody here that has learned a lesson. Um, they've learned something because that's what happens when you get the world card. So somebody has learned some sort of life lesson in regards to perhaps um, not being practical. You know, you think about that king of swords. The, th the king of swords isn't about practicality. It's not. The, the king of swords does what he wants and doesn't care doesn't care who he hurts okay doesn't care who he hurts and that is the truth it's about getting something done proving a point perhaps the next card i saw was the five of swords conflict defeat power struggles tension okay so i feel like we got somebody here that is feeling defeated over you know some sort of completion or ending because the world is the very last card in the deck there's been some sort of ending or completion or serious hard life lesson that has been learned and i feel like you know now it's a feeling of of being pushed away or walking away somebody may be walking away because they you know they don't they don't want to deal with this conflict they don't want to deal with this fight they don't want to deal with this problem anymore um so i feel like we have somebody here that has was trying to prove themselves they may have um done something that they shouldn't have and now they've learned a serious lesson and today is a day of um, dealing with it by the looks of things that's what i think this is okay somebody's uh impractical decision making has taught them a serious lesson. So let's see what we got. Now, the King of Swords speaks. Okay, this guy doesn't use the... He, he speaks. He speaks. He's a communicator. So he may have said something. He may have said something that got him in trouble. Him or her, in this case, as of yet. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that may have said something hurtful and with that five of swords you know that caused some sort of conflict maybe caused somebody to walk away or caused somebody to sever ties the five of swords is about severing ties because of the hurtful communication that was delivered you know and then we have a serious lesson that has been learned um which ends in completion something is ending probably because of somebody's could be harsh words i mean the king of swords does speak harshly matter of fact it's the truth but it hurts so what do we got what do we got for the 13th direct very direct could be dealing with a uh, air sign uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or anybody, it doesn't have to be an air sign, somebody that is very direct, you know, to the point. And this person is really not somebody to mess with because, you know, they don't care who they hurt. It's all about the truth. Brutal honesty. And sometimes that brutal honesty, and you can look at me when, you, when I'm saying this, can get you in trouble. So perhaps somebody's honesty has, you know, caused other, caused conflict. That's what we got here too. Two of Spring. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. 
partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress being made. This is the Two of Wands. So somebody is making progress. I don't know if it's the Two of Wands or the Two of Pentacles. I think it's the Two of Pentacles. Because the Two of Pentacles is... And I don't read the books. And I don't care about the rest of you that do. I really don't give a shit. So that's my brutal honesty for you. Um, the Two of Pentacles, that is, that is change. That's manifestation because those pentacles are manifestation. Manifested... Through work and creativity, partnering with others. Hmm. Somebody is making progress. Ooh. Impulsive. Very, very impulsive. Act, think now. Act now, think later. So somebody has acted impulsively. Some truth has been revealed or it's about to be revealed. Something is crumbling as we speak. This is crumbling right now. I know that's what this is. This is this is satisfaction. Somebody was looking to get some sort of satisfaction by acting cowardly. Kudos, kudos. That's what I'm sensing. Somebody was trying to get kudos. Boost, self-esteem boost, and that makes sense with that five of swords. Somebody was trying to get some sort of boost, uh, not realizing, not realizing that uh, shit was going to go south, that things were going to fall apart. I feel like we have somebody here that... Um, Probably has to take another step. Probably has to make a decision. Because twos are decisions. They're choices. And that is about... Twos are about taking a next... Taking, a, taking another step. They are taking the next step. Oh, here we go. Two of Wands. This is your crossroads. I keep, I'm sorry, I'm listening to that bird or squirrel or whatever it is outside. Um, this is your crossroads. This is, this is somebody needing to make some sort of decision. It's the moment of decision. Act now, if you have to make a decision, my advice is to take action right now. And I know that I told you a minute ago that somebody acted impulsively and it probably got them in trouble. But we got great progress being made. So that is a good thing. And sometimes the truth hurts. So I feel like we have somebody here that uh, is gaining some sort of power. Okay, we have somebody here that is gaining some sort of power. This is a force to be reckoned with. Somebody is looking away from a relationship. You know, they're not even looking. They're thinking about leaving it, but leaving a bit. They're, they're good. They're, they might be taking action. They may be leaving the relationship. The fault sense. They're actually leaving. Okay. This could be the day that they actually leave. Okay. Because this guy is taking action and, it, and he, looking out, looking away from the relationship. So we have somebody here that. I think we got somebody here that is making a pretty quick decision. It's like you can't this is they can't even restrain themselves either. They can't restrain themselves. There's a lack of restraint. 
I, you know what I heard when I, when I laid this card down? When I, way back when I laid the card down, I can't get no satisfaction. That song, and I don't, I don't, I don't even know how that song goes because I haven't heard it, but I'm going to listen to it after this because I always do when the song comes up, but I can't get no satisfaction, you know? So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take another step. That's probably the two of pentacles, I think that is. Somebody is about to take another step because they're not satisfied. And this could be the day where they actually, like, kick it into high gear. This is the truth being revealed about... <laughs> I mean, the Ace of Cups reversed? Love! And the, underneath the moon, we got some sort of truth. You can't be hidden. It's like, I can't hide the truth anymore about this unrequited love situation. There's no love here. This is a false sense of security. I want happiness, extreme happiness, bliss. And it's funny because when I first, when I closed my eyes at the beginning of this reading, you know, um, to, to give, get the cards, you know, if I had that, whatever, um, I saw light. I saw light, I, like a golden light, uh, in my third eye, I'm rubbing it now, a big, a huge golden light, and that makes complete sense, so I feel like somebody is being, I was going to be enlightened, but I didn't see the sun card, I just saw light, but that happens a lot, so I, I chalked it up to something else, but anyway, um, so somebody is being enlightened about, uh, you know, something that needs to be removed, it's like they see the light, this is a false sense of security, I, 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 you know, I can't, it, it's the truth, this, this isn't love, it's not emotionally fulfilling. This person takes action, this person takes a new approach, this person gets a vision, okay, this is a visionary. Um, I want to have it all, I want to have it all, so I feel like we have somebody here that is definitely, it's, this is like a parting of ways, okay, this is a parting of ways in search of happiness okay in the search of happiness so, so we could have two people that are coming to agreement and that is where the great progress is that you know it's best that we just part ways so that's probably what this is it's best that we part ways I'm gonna hold my head up high I'm gonna be proud of myself So I feel like today we have somebody here that is shutting down emotionally because they see a happier future. It's like they have a vision of a happier future. This tower reverse, this, this is, you know, letting it crumble. not going to play tug of war. I'm not going to keep going back and forth. I want reciprocation. I want equal give and take. There's no seeing eye to eye. There's no teamwork. There's no real partnership here. There's there's no there's a lack of respect. There's a lack of compromise. And I feel I feel like we have somebody here that is is making a decision to get the hell out. And I think it's a mutual agreement. I do. I think it's a mutual agreement. I think we have two people that are making an agreement that it is time to sever ties. This is the truth. I mean, that this is the truth. I mean, and the King of Swords delivers the truth. And this is the truth with the moon reverse. It's like the truth is being revealed about, you know... A contract or whatever it is that is not emotionally fulfilling there's no teamwork there's no partnership there's no compromise there's a lack of communication it's a false sense of security it's not stable it's not secure it you know it's not stable okay so I feel like we have somebody here that makes a decision to take action and leave behind 
a relationship that they have been going back and forth with, back and forth with, back and forth with. And they could be making that decision to do so because somebody else comes riding into their life as if by chance okay somebody could be you know just showing up because you know it's funny i didn't mention this either but i saw the chariot for a split split second when i was channeling it was quick quick so i i didn't mention it it was very quick it was just like a it was a quick little vision and then it was gone so it was just like so and then i thought well somebody could be arriving and so, so i'm not sure if somebody has arrived you know, that it has made somebody, I mean, somebody manifested a new arrival. And now, you know, somebody has made a decision to leave behind the other relationship that was false because we got this new passionate opportunity. So, you know, expect the unexpected because you think about these fives. Okay, I saw the five of swords, five, five. So that would be three fives, five, five, five. That is expect the unexpected, major life changes, major life, major life choices let go of the past to bring in the new personal freedom and it's like i'm free and i saw that earlier or i felt it earlier i didn't see it but i felt it you know so i feel like this is a you know i'm free to you know start over so i feel like we have somebody that has made some sort of progress and they're taking action to step into a better future that could make them very very happy and they're leaving behind a relationship where they were left behind, where they were ghosted, where there was a lot of power struggles, there was a lot of conflict, there was a lot of back and forth, there was there was a lot of pride and ego in the way. Um, and it feels like they're just looking for satisfaction. You know, I'm looking for to have it all. I think this is an opportunity. This could be an opportunity for wish fulfillment. I feel like there's a new. Um, very attractive opportunity that has arrived that has basically made somebody realize that happiness is not holding on to this false sense of security and I feel like they make that move to step into the unknown so yeah that's what I got I feel like today is a day of reciprocating with somebody that is very confident powerful enthusiastic exciting this, this it's like this is an exciting opportunity and if you, somebody just starts to feel the excitement i feel the excitement here it's like and i don't need the fool card i feel it i feel like we have somebody here that has somebody like trot into their life like i said as if by chance and it helps them to step over that edge and take that next step over a very <sighs> false sense of security that they have been holding on to you know it's like they decide to let this person help them they decide to you know give it a shot that's what i see that's what i got good luck